So this little bird came into the vet clinic affected with trichomonas. The owner said that the bird was making a bizarre snoring noise as it breathed and we found this to be caused by a build-up of mucus in the bird's throat. That's the actual sound. So when we swabbed the bird's throat and looked under the microscope, this is what we found. These organisms are bird trichomonas organisms, otherwise known as pigeon canker or trichomonas gallinae. So this is one of the organisms in close-up. The organism is basically colourless and it has a teardrop shape. It's characterised by having this distinctive undulating membrane, which is like a fin that's running underneath the organism. And when they're swimming, the fin ripples back and forward in a big wave motion. So here's another view of a trichomonas parasite and once again you can clearly see the undulating membrane rippling underneath the organism's body. Okay, so in this one you can see these giant whip-like structures coming from the top of the organism. You can see them whipping out there. These structures are called flagellae and they're basically these giant hair-like structures that come from the front of the organism and help it with its motility. Basically they're helping it to swim in the mucus that's lining the bird's throat. Flagellae can number anywhere from 3 to 5 in number depending on the species of trichomonas that you are dealing with. So just keep an eye on the trichomonas organism in the middle and you'll basically see it every now and then strike out with its flagellae. So just there. And it's just there again. It looks a fair bit like a mouse's tail. Okay, so on top of all that, Trichomonas also has this additional feature called an axostyle. And an axostyle is basically this rod-like structure that sticks out the posterior or the back end of the organism. And you can see it quite well in these images. So the axostyle sits on the opposite end of the organism's body to the flagellae. So you can see here how the flagellae are whipping crazily out the front of it. And you can also see how it looks like there's this spike that's anchoring the animal just into one spot. That's the axostyle. Basically, that's the spike that's sticking out the back of it.